Okay. Uh, Alan, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to interrupt you and your guests once again uh, to take us to Joe Biden, who is uh, speaking to his supporters. Uh, let's listen in. Just a few days ago, the press and the pundits had declared the campaign dead. And then came South Carolina, and they had something to say about it. And we're told, well, when it got to Super Tuesday, it'd be over. Well, it may be over for the other guy. Yeah. Tell that to the folks in Virginia, yeah. North Carolina, yeah. Alabama, yeah. Tennessee, yeah. Oklahoma, yeah. Arkansas, yeah. Minnesota, yeah. and maybe even Massachusetts. It's too close to call. And uh, we're still waiting for Texas and California, a few other small states to come in. But it's looking good. So I'm here to report, we are very much alive. And make no mistake about it, this campaign that will send Donald Trump packing, this campaign is taking off. Join us. For those folks, listen, go to JoeBiden.com. Sign up, volunteer, contribute if you can. We need you, we want you, and there's a place for you in this campaign. People are talking about a revolution. We started a movement. We've increased turnout. And the turnout's turned out for us. That can deliver us to a moment where we can do extraordinary, extraordinary things. Look. Our agenda is bold, it's progressive, it's a vision where health care is affordable and available to everybody in America. Where we bring drug prices down under control with no more surprise billing. Access to hospitals in rural areas as well as urban areas. Access to care. A bold vision where we invest billions of dollars to find, and I promise you, cures for cancer. Alzheimer's and diabetes. Standing up to and beating the NRA and the gun manufacturers. And leading the world to take on the existential threat of climate change. I'm going to start by rejoining an outfit I helped put together, the Paris Climate Accord, and we're going to move it a long way. A country where the quality of education will not depend on your zip code. We'll be triple funding for low-income school districts, providing raises for teachers. Full-time school for three, four, and five years old. And increasing exponentially the prospects of their success. Free community college, providing credentials for every job of the 21st century. And significant reduction in the cost of going to college and your student debt. If you volunteer, you pay nothing. Folks, we can do this. And let's get something straight. Wall Street didn't build this country. You built this country. The middle class built this country. And unions built the middle class. And the neighborhoods we come from, the three... Too many people in the neighborhoods that Jill and Val and I grew up in. So everybody's are getting hurt. They're badly hurt. And guess what? They're the places where we come from, many of you come from. It's where we were raised. The people, they're the reason why I'm running. There's the reason why I'm a Democrat in the first place. These are the people who build our bridges, repair our roads, keep our water safe, who teach our kids. Look who race into burning buildings to protect other people. 
who grow our food, build our cars, pick up our garbage, our streets, veterans, dreamers, single moms. And by the way, every dreamer, have hope because I'm coming and you're not going anywhere. And we're going to provide a pathway, a pathway for 11 million citizens. If the other guy had voted for the, the — well, I don't think you can get into that. I won't get going. Look. The iron workers, the steel workers, the boiler makers, the plumbers, the electrical workers, these are the people that have been forgotten. I agree with you, man. Look, the people Trump forgot, the people I will never forgot and I will always remember. Folks, that's why we need an economy that rewards work, not just wealth. Reestablishes the middle class, and this time brings everybody along. Everybody, regardless of their race, their ethnicity, whether they're, their gender, their disability, their economic state, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, every strike. Look, like we did in South Carolina, like we did across America today, like we'll do on our all the way to the White House. Look, that's why I was so proud yesterday being embraced by Amy Gobachar. We won Minnesota because of Amy Gobachar. And we're doing well in Texas because of Beto O'Rourke. And that's why, that's why I was so proud, so incredibly proud to have Mayor Pete's endorsement as well. There's a man of character, intellect, and courage. And by the way, I was proud to be endorsed by Jim Clyburn. Man, he is something else. Look. Our campaign reflects the diversity of this party and this nation. And that's how it should be, because we need to bring everybody along. Everybody. We want a nominee who will beat Donald Trump, but also, also keep Nancy Pelosi the Speaker of the House. Win back the United States Senate. If that's what you want, join us. And if you want a nominee who's a Democrat, a lifelong Democrat, a proud Democrat, an Obama-Biden Democrat. Join us. Look, this all starts with a revival of decency and honor and character. Trump has, has, has fanned the flames of hate and sought to divide us. He's insulted, demonized, and actually just, just the way he talks about people. He has not a single sense of empathy. He doesn't have any compassion. No regard for the values that made this country who we are. Not the way you were raised by your moms and dads. He looks at honesty and decency and respect, and he views it as a sign of weakness. He doesn't believe that we're the beacon to the world. He doesn't believe we're all part of something bigger than ourselves. That's why I've said from the moment I announced for this candidacy. We're literally in a battle for the soul of America. Yeah. Folks, winning means uniting America, yes. not sowing seeds of division and anger and hate. We got to beat Donald Trump, and we will, but we can't become like him. Yeah. We can't have a never-ending war between the parties. We need a president who can fight, but may no, make no mistake about it, I can fight. But look, we need as badly as badly someone who can heal. Look, just look what we did when we passed Obamacare, or what President Obama and I did saving the American automobile industry, or what we did to pass the Violence Against Women Act. And what that, but it's not enough. This is just a start. We need a president who can heal the country as well. And that is what I will do as your president, I promise you. It's about delivering, delivering real results for you, your family, and the community. It's not about me, Jill, or Valerie. It's about you. It's about our families. To paraphrase the English poet Robert Browning, he said, our reach should exceed our grasp. And my reach does exceed our grasp because there's no doubt in my mind we can grasp whatever we reach for. Ladies and gentlemen, I quoted an English poet. Well, let me quote a real poet now, an Irish poet, yeah. Seamus Haney, who wrote a poem called The Curatory. And here's what he says, and I believe this to the bottom of my being. He said, history says 
Don't hope on this side of the grave. But then, once in a lifetime, the longed-for tidal wave of justice rises up and hope and history rhyme. We can make hope and history rhyme because of what we're saying. There's nothing we can't do. This is about the future. It's not about the past. It's about our children and our grandchildren. It's about leading this country and leading the world once again. Yeah. Folks, we just have to remember who we are. My Lord, this is the United States of America. Yeah. And it's time for America to get back up yeah. and once again fight for the proposition that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal and died by the Creator with certain inalienable rights. We say it so often in school, we don't realize how profound it is. We've never lived up to those words, but until this president, we've never walked away from it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe with every fiber of my being, that's who we are. So let's get back up. We are a decent, brave, resilient people. We can believe again, but we are, we are better than this moment. We are better than this president. So get back up and take back this country, the United States of America. There's not a single thing we can't do. God bless you, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Joe Biden, the former vice president, addressing his supporters in Los Angeles, California. It's been a very good night for him. He was briefly interrupted by animal rights protest protesters during that speech in California, but unfazed Joe Biden. He is in a pretty good mood wired even i would say <laughs> from what we heard there uh, he's he's had a good night no doubt he's won a, a couple of states uh, and still looking for a few victories as we've heard there